Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Endgame of Devil, the luck be a landlord style drafting roguelike that I'm excited to be back to here today. We're gonna be going on in, we're at level 9 already here. Let's just go in, we'll explore what those debuffs that we have to deal with are over the course of the run here. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Every three turns we get a sacred golem. If we don't have one, it's basically just a trash unit that's gonna, you know, mess things up for us a little bit. Uh, there's definitely, like, a face hugger relic that I'd like to go for. Thief, I think there's a relic that just makes it so you're more likely to get re-rolls. I'll get the face hugger. Helps with that early game that this kind of character has a harder time with. When a minion's cooldown hits zero, it restores one HP on an adventurer. Okay. So, this is the upgraded version of one we've dealt with before. It's one that's going to be like, we should probably try to avoid low impact, low cooldown abilities. Like a every turn do one damage is literally useless, for example. Scarab, I think, is still worth it. It's a 12 turn cooldown. It's probably only going to happen like once or twice before I remove it from my deck. It's not a big deal. Okay. Self-remove, gain a gun freak. I do want to do a gun freak run. Damage dealt, plus two from bullet, but minus three by melee attack. See, this is a uh, low cooldown, low impact ability kind of as well, though. Deal four bullet. So it's every two turns, do four damage, but it's kind of like doing three damage. But maybe we can upgrade the damage of bullet with something. I'll get steel helmet. Because I think it's... I think it's fine. Energy Charger 2, deal a random bullet. Okay, so that's not a cooldown ability. Okay, this this could be the bullet the bullet run. 7th turn cooldown, then we could get the uh, Dwarf Guard. 2 bullets. Uh, so it's technically its value, but it's not that much. It's weird. So we need to get some early game goodness here. I'll just accept that that's good enough. Something that does two damage. We need help, clearly. Get another thing. Hoping we can get... Eh, a little bit of murder done. There's a chance that they do some damage to us. Okay, that was, that was close. We almost lost one little whatever the hell, but it's not that big of a deal. Damage dealt plus one from melee and 100% from crit. Damage from energy up is not bad because we obviously have like an idea for energy already, but I don't have any energy yet. I'll go from extra, extra damage from melee. It'll help. This is fine. Removal just being nice to help trim down my deck a little bit. There's our gun freak. Hip hip hooray. We have... What is the benefit for crit? 100% extra damage from crit. I mean, if we get... Yeah, we got lucky. Every four energy generate one inspiration. God, that, that could be something. Inspiration gives us attack damage on a random unit and a uh, refresh, I believe. Gain five removals to refresh. Come on, we can do better. Explosion does bullet. I mean, maybe. Four turns. Every four turns get one energy, one lightning. It's a little bit weird, but we do need a way to start generating a little bit of energy if we want to try to get value out of these. It's extremely slow, that. Uh. Yeah, these are not impressive things by any means. That guy took zero damage. I'm going to skip here. I think this guy takes one less damage from all sources, which is... Clearly not very good right now. Ten turns, get a random epic minion self-remove. Sure. I think this guy, uh, this guy lives, I think. I just 
don't think we really have strong capabilities of dealing with them. Explosive barrel is fine. But I need something better. Zombie bear could help us. Okay. Zombie bear did help us. It did got that four damage in there. Enable the cooldown ability of all sarcophagus on the board. 5% chance to get a new one. Sure. Energy triggers again. I need more energy generation before that is anything. Oh, God. We got another one of those from the sarcophagus. It's a little bit... A little bit awkward. I'll go for the gnome, because maybe we'll get a gnome miner. Which will heal enemies quite a bit. Energy charger 2 radiation. I just don't have anything to do with that yet. The monster book, so I can get rid of the monster book. The crit's not bad, but I'm getting rid of that so I can get a free inspiration. Plus one attack damage on somebody permanently. Had to be you. Another gnome is another chance at a miner, which could be good energy generation. Do I really want to go that route? I'm not sure. Because it's a lot of cooldown procs. I don't need triple generation on that. Writer inspiration. Yeah, Klein bottle's a little bit weird for us. We've got 24 units, so we definitely have uh, too many. Uh, color out of space should be a lot of potential bullets. Okay. Get rid of you. I think I'll get rid of you. We're, we're overflowing. We just need to make sure that this guy shows up on the board or we got problems. Okay. How's that guy have 36 health? What's going on there? What's that all about? The fear is doing a lot of the damage. Which is not exciting to see. Phantom Musket's just not impressive. I just why does bullet only do one damage? If I get the relic, it does three, but everything else loses a lot of damage. There's a miner. For better or worse. You get five inspiration, get a legendary minion, basically, I think is what that is. Face hugger turns into a mutant. That's the cool thing, but I also do think we just get rid of it at this point. Every three turns generate inspiration. Sure, damage up from radiation up. It's a good one, but I'm not going to go for it right now. Thank you. Nope. I want to stick to the theme. Let's get rid of the face hugger at that. I do think that's good, but... Scarab's about the proc. I have 22... I'm getting rid of this just because I have a lot of extras, and I want to make sure that that hits something else. One, two, three, four, five. We want to remove one more thing. Okay. Scarab should proc. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I just don't want to do it right now. Glimmer's okay if I had more energy. Because that means my energy stuff will generate quicker. I say another scare, but this point is uh, too little too late there. There's just, We got a couple deep ones transformed. So we're going to do explosion to everybody, which means they also get all bulleted up. Self remove generate three energy. Sure. We are healing them a little bit by having such low cooldown stuff, but I don't think it's really mattering. Eh. Plus one damage on 
explosion doesn't really matter. Oh, I'll get the laser trap, which saves me from uh, a damage if I fail to kill something. I do feel like Fright is pretty good, but... Not doing any of that, unfortunately. Sure. I think it's Scarab bye-bye time. Maybe Thief bye-bye time, probably. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, that was, uh, that was a lot. Where'd that Thief? There you go. Get out of here. What is this generating again? Inspiration. Yeah, that's... Eh, I think it's helpful. Mummy Priest is interesting. We're, we're generating enough energy. Another color out of space. I, I want to get the bullet thing again now. Refracting Prism is solid. Let's get the minerals. Okay, so what do I want to dupe? I could dupe the color out of space, and then I basically could do what that other thing did with no repercussions. Minerals is good enough. Even more inspiration? I don't know. I'm leaning towards Gun Freak, but he's just not doing that much. My crit guys are, are honestly doing some of the most damage right now. Which is not surprising because of a theme, and then we have the uh, we have the inspiration. We have the couple scarabs upgrading their damage. Hmm. Impress me. Impress me. Give me the bullet upgrade so that that's not stupid. Lightning charger. I don't have any lightning. Thank you though. Yeah, this guy's... He's carrying his weight in a pretty impressive way, I must say. I was not assuming that would happen. But the uh, explosion into bullet wombo... Crystal Crab is fine. I just don't feel like it right now. Oh, that was... Uh... What was that? Generate an energy per mineral... Gained in this level. That's yeah, that's a good one. I can probably ditch a Klein bottle or two. Oh, uh, we can upgrade this. I can't remember. I know I just had him. I know he gets like a, a an electric arc angle, which is not something I care about. Does he still do bullet? I don't remember. I'm gonna pause and literally look. It was I got it yesterday. Is cooldown two deal one bullet. And an electric arc, and trigger an extra time for every two attack. I think we can try and make that work. So now we kind of want ways to increase his attack more. I mean, that's that's good to get, sure. Okay. Did I get my gun freaks? Upgraded? No, because I didn't roll them? I rolled neither of them? That's so upsetting. That is so upsetting. That is... Pretty annoying. I don't... I just... It, oh God, it doesn't feel like it should work that way, but alrighty. That works fairly well. We can make it so they take more damage from the bullets. That's about the best I can do right now. I hit it. You hurt. I would like more uh, energy procs. Uh, 
extremely late scarab as well, but damage dealt up from bullet. I'll take it. It's something. Crit charge, that could have been obviously something if we got it a little bit earlier. Uh, I don't have that much fright for it to be worth it. Another glimmer works. Okay. Another scarab makes zero sense. So is that doing this? Giving us the inspiration. We could probably remove one at this point. That guy did 40. Do we need another dwarf miner still? I think we could probably get rid of that. I don't think we need the Klein bottles. I think that the generator that we have is going to be good enough. I could be wrong. That'll help. Wait, where's my generator? Where's my generator? It got destroyed from an enemy? Oh, that's so annoying. That's the second time that's happened. It's because there's an enemy out there that... Um, I saw that. I just... Eh. There's an enemy out there that... Um, when you kill them, it removes your lowest attack power unit you have. And that has zero power. I really feel like those things that transform... It says transform all of your gun freaks. Call me crazy, but it feels like it should just... Automatically do it no matter where they are. Like, got another... I don't need another inspiration generator. That, that much is for sure. So let's let it roll. And we're going to remove it. I think I got more than enough as is. Two of those? Nope. Okay. The gun freak is doing damage. The crit guys are holding their own as well. If I can get the item that converts glimmers, that'd be lovely. Converts them into the guy that makes energy proc two more times. That being said, I have no energy generation anymore. I really gotta fix that. I just did not think that... Uh, I did not think that that got removed. The good news is we probably scaled enough for it to not matter. Dragon. But, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's definitely my least favorite enemy. So I got rid of the miner as well. I could pop this, but I'm like, should I pop this now? Sure, I'll pop my 10 energy. So we might be good until basically the end of the game anyways. Get another mineral. Sure. Holy crap. Look at that. I mean, it's working. Like, this is... It's a reliable amount of bullets. There we go. Clear all your removal to deal an equal amount of bullet. Which... For those keeping track at home... Does a lot. Inspiration Charger 4. It's too late. That's like, there's four turns before that does anything. I just don't care. Alright, so I do remember that these guys could be a little bit brutal. Do I remove those guys? Does radiation as well? Yeah, bullet and radiation. With that in mind, I do remove these guys, or most of them. I'll admit, it feels like it should have done more considering how many removals it got rid of.
damage dealt by inorganic minions does apply to the bullet that this guy does. At least if past uh, the past thing is anything to go on. How do we still have a scarab, man? Oh, yeah, because I grabbed one really weirdly late. Probably would have been better to wait an extra, like, turn for this. I think it would have been more useful. Because then these guys would all have the damage amp stuff on. The minerals. Definitely helps. Alright. All absorbed into the one. Which doesn't matter at this point. Go for this. But yeah, we could have... Um, is he getting away? That, that guy might get away with it. Again, in a funny way, not that it even matters. Oh my. At this point, I guess we just take anything. This is, the, this is the last turn. Oh, he does not make it out. Even if he made it out alive, we have the, um, the artifact that would have killed him. And even if we didn't have the artifact that would have killed him, he only takes two diamonds, so we were safe anyways. Uh... But, yeah, interesting stuff. I feel like... My theory... I'm not going to say that bullet builds are bad. Because we didn't get everything we could have had. But we could have upgraded the flat damage of a bullet by three. While also decreasing all of our melee damage by... Uh, whatever, three? Two? Something like that. I can't remember. We'll, we'll go back and look at the... We'll go take a look at the gallery here. Figure out what that was. That when it's your bullet damage goes up by something. And your melee damage goes down by something. Can't remember the exact numbers at the moment. Dwarf tech would be something too. 35% chance of um of duplicating the dwarf guard ability. That's something. I don't think it would have actually changed that much. What else are we missing? Yeah, like, this should have been more impressive of a payoff for how many removals we got rid of. And it doing bullet, and we got a bullet damage upgrade thing, you know? 10 energy. Yeah, two extra damage from bullets? Let me tell you, this does not... It This does not make bullets much better. So, are we missing a... Are we missing a legendary bullet unit? No. So, the fact that... The fact that we almost had everything we needed for a bullet build to be a bullet build, and it was only that strong, has me thinking that this is one of the builds that there is going to be stuff added in the, like, what of the next update for. They said they're going to be adding some more stuff for Frankenstein's, uh, I, I think in the way of pieces, definitely for relics. And I can definitely say that that seems like it's necessary. When we're talking about doing like one damage twice, ooh, but then you can get the upgrade for the extra damage. It's two damage. Ooh, this does not, it doesn't scale. It just doesn't scale. You have to rely on pollution. Or something... Where, 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 where? Let's see. Uh, mushroom. You have to rely on pollution. But then, guess what? If you're relying on pollution and you get the four stacks of pollution or whatever, it's gonna be better than your bullets anyways. Because it's doing half of their current HP. Like, it's gonna be better than your bullets anyways. So, I'm confused. I do know that we can get the upgrade of the Gun Freak. The one that I said, that I talked about, and, you know, here's the thing. I had no reliable way to increase his attack anyway, so if I, even if I did get the Gun Maniac upgrade, and the game didn't do that weird little interaction, or, I mean, you know, I, it's a misplay slash interaction. I should have known that the game is, does that stupid, in a stupid way. I should have known, thus it's a, it's a gentle misplay, but honestly, I, I do think it's kind of weird. Either way, Gun Maniac, he does extra bullets based off of how much attack damage he has. We wouldn't have increased his attack damage that much 
and he does one bullet and he does more if you have more attack to the point where I don't even know if we would have gotten him to do more bullets anyways. So all in all, what is a good bullet build look like? I don't think it's uh, I think it's one of the weaker builds so far from what I can tell. Uh, that being said, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes every single day and I will see you next time. Bye.